Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GA with me, Seamus Brady. I'm just going to react in this video to the news that Billy Lee has really surprisingly stepped down from his role as Limerick football boss for 2023. It definitely surprised me and I think it's a massive blow. It's a massive, massive blow for Limerick. Limerick have been on this kind of upward trend since Billy Lee took the helm. He took over in 2017 when they were mid-table Division 4, no interest in the county and their footballers. And look at where they are now. Division 2, they were just in a Munster final. Like, he's made them really competitive. And then they were in the All-Ireland qualifiers. They put in a good display. They were in the All-Ireland Championship. They weren't even in the Tolgen Cup. And to be honest, if I think they were, I think they would have been right up there as fancy as one of the teams to win it. Billy Lee brought this energy to Limerick football. He brought this enthusiasm that it's going to be really hard to fill these shoes now. Two promotions from Division 4 to Division 2. Two promotions in three seasons. Munster Final 2022. They beat Clare and Tipperary en route. Those are two fantastic victories. He won the McGrath Cup as well. So, I mean, these are big boots to fill. And the main thing that I think is the purpose here for Billy Lee leaving is, obviously, there might be personal issues. Obviously, there might be things that we don't know. Maybe he's just ran out. Maybe he just has nothing left in the tank himself. But there definitely is the element of how far can this go. There's no championship really that Limerick can win. They would have to get relegated. And he doesn't want to get relegated to be in the Tolton Cup. So it's one of those things that they, I think they've hit their glass ceiling. I think they've, well not glass ceiling, but I think they've hit their limit. I really do. I think how much further can they go? Can they win the Tolton Cup? I think they can win the Tolton Cup. But they'd have to get relegated to do that. And Billy Lee is not going to want to get relegated. They, I do not think they can win a Munster title because I think Kerry have turned a corner and they're just unbeatable in Munster now for the next few years. And they're not going to win the All-Ireland as well. So I think that element of what can we realistically win has set in for Billy Lee and set in for this Limerick team. And hopefully, I'm praying that it does not become one of these teams that made a burst and fell off. We've had it so much over the last 10 years. We've had Sligo do it. At the end of the end of the two thousands, we've had uh, obviously Carlo do it. They made a burst, then they fell away. We've had Leitrim do it. They made a burst, then they fell away. Particularly small counties, because once they realise they can only go so far, then they fall back down. Wicklow as well was another one with Mick O'Dwyer. He came in. They won a qualifier match, and then that was it. They Mick O leaves. And they realise they're not going to win Leinster because of Dublin and they're not going to win the All-Ireland because of Dublin and Kerry and Tyrone and all these teams. So it runs out of steam and this just annoys me because I think if there was a senior championship, an intermediate championship and a junior championship and Billy Lee had got them out of the junior championship, I still think they would really fancy a crack at that intermediate championship and that would be so much incentive for him to stay. So I do think that, look, the Tolgen Cup last year was great. It was great fun, but... All those mid-teams, all those Westmeads, Cavins, Limericks, Clares, they're not going to want to be in the Tolgen Cup. They're going to want to be in the All-Ireland. And that's the biggest thing. A senior championship, an intermediate championship, and a junior championship, for me, is just the obvious no-brainer that that's the perfect system. Um, like myself, Luke, and Matt, the GA statsman, we were having that conversation way back when Proposal B was rejected. We were saying it just seems to be so easy to just see that that's the perfect way to do it but for some reason we're persisting with this way in my opinion purely because of nostalgia purely because we don't want to accept what is staring us in the face that the big counties will always win in this scenario so yeah like with Billy Lee outstanding job outstanding job with Limerick I mean he's absolutely achieved everything that I could have thought he would have. I didn't think he was going to win Munster. I didn't think he was going to win the All-Ireland. But he has got them two consecutive promotions and a Munster final appearance. Fair play. And big, big boots to fill now for whoever comes in because they have a Division 2 campaign to go into now where you've got Dublin in there, you've got Kildare in there, you've got Meath in there, you've got Derry in there. Like, there's some sharks in that tank. And, you know... Limerick better pack a lunch because the, the, that is going to be one hell of a Division 2 campaign. So good luck to whoever takes over. But Billy Lee, my absolute respect to him. Fantastic job with Limerick. And yeah, that's my thoughts on this news. Let me know what you think. And until the next one, take care.